नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल 15 पीपल इंक्लूडिंग वन ऑफिसर डाइड इन नागालैंड वील गेट इन टू द डिटेल्स एलेट्स गेट राइट इन टू द शो 14 मेन इंक्लूडिंग वन आर्मी ऑफिसर डाइड इन नागालैंड What really happened was in Mon district of Nagaland, a army unit, a special army unit, by error fired at a pickup truck which were carrying coal miners. Some say it was a mistaken identity. It was a wrong intelligence information that these army men got. after firing when the when the villagers villagers heard the the gunshot they came running there was a clash between the army and the villagers seven people died in the clash the question that i asked tonight is should the army be used to control internal insurgencies should the army be used you see while the army's definition knowledge is, is to control any attack uh, uh, against the country whether it is internal or external but the army primarily is trained to fight external enemies that's number 1 number 2 is army has been imposed in naga hills since 1958 aspa was imposed since 1958 this is 2021 so should army be used for such a long period then what am i talking about i am talking about we also have a force that has been created specialized to ensure that internal safety internal law and order is maintained and that is what you call as police force police force includes your local police police force they have got crpf they have got srpf why not use police more because they have trained they have been trained to ensure that they control they maintain law and order and they ensure that they have they are they are used to used to uh, controlling communities internal communities internal people so shouldn't police be used more now i will i will i will also tell you the reverse story 2611 2611 a lot of police officers died in maharashtra in mumbai because the infiltrators were from outsider there were enemies but who was tackling them police was tackling them army came in late mind you you remember if you remember so the police tackled them lot of policemen lost their lives because that is not supposed to be the job that police does technically speaking it is supposed to be the job that army does possibly if army was there on time on in 2611 if army was there on time if army would have taken over we wouldn't have lost a the number of policemen that were martyred during the during that 2611 incident and we wouldn't have lost innocent lives too they would have been saved so coming back to the story army has their own uh, way of tackling external enemies and police has their own way and method of tackling internal insurgency and, in, and community issues okay now i want to ask my second point my second point is um, which army operations where in this country from kashmir to kanyakumari we are various places we still have various places where where army operations are still on and we are trying to control insurgents we are trying to control uh, uh, uprisings where have been we where have we been successful where have we been successful have we been successful in kashmir have we been successful in northeast area where exactly have we been successful but if you look at it in punjab it was kps gill and rivero who actually controlled the terrorist terrorist khalistan activity in punjab blue star operation was done by army that is one one different issue but predominantly punjab was bought under control by two police officers who were trained to handle communities who are trained to handle our internal affairs this is the point number 2 point number 3 now let me give you a broad broad understanding of what aspa is according to part of the definition of aspa 
any commissioned officer warrant officer non commissioned officer or any other person of equivalent rank in the armed force may in a disturbed area according to definition disturbed area means any area which is for the time being declared by notification under section 3 to be disturbed area so that is the definition of disturbed area so coming back in a in a disturbed area if he is of the opinion that it is necessary to do for the maintenance of public order after giving such due warning as he may consider necessary fire upon or otherwise use force even to causing of death against any person who is acting in contravention of any law or order for the time being in force in the disturbed area prohibiting the assembly of five or more person or carrying of weapons or anything capable of being used as weapons or as firearms, ammunition or explosive substance. This is the definition, this is broadly, I mean a part of the definition of what the Armed Forces Special Power Act is, which means a uh, army officer who is uh, a, 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 a commissioned officer, a warrant officer or non-commissioned officer can command his troops to fire and even kill a person if he feels that that person is using certain amount of arms or he is using, he is dangerous for the community, he is dangerous, he is acting dangerously in a disturbed area and uh, is capable of using weapons or firearms or ammunition or explosive substance. So that's the point. So the point is this gives army tremendous amount of powers. Now the question again is what I wanted to ask and I am concluding my editorial with this question. I am in no way saying that disturbed area should let it be and you know we should not do anything, we let the, let the insurgency happen, let the people do what they want. I am not saying that. I am saying that is it necessary to use army in every insurgency that is happening. There is CRPF, there is SRPF, there is police force. These people are trained to handle internal community. Why aren't these people with better equipments, better ammunition used in insurgent area? Because they are trained to handle internal conflicts. Other than using a group of uh, professionals, which is the army, who are trained to handle the enemies. Number one. Number two is, are we sending the right message to our own people who may be guided by others, who may be who may be, who may be influenced by others, who may be even bribed by other people, others means enemies of our state, enemies of our country, to create problems in that particular place. But are we sending the right message to those people by using army and by using special powers of army and, you know, having this kind of incidents take place? Are we doing that right? This is my question tonight. Think about it. Think about this and you take your decision on what is right and what is wrong. That being said, starting uh, 11th of this month, our website is going to be changed. Our website is going to, is redesigned. You can, you, can, you can expect a lot more articles. You can expect a lot more news from our, our, uh, our website. Go visit our website. I agree that till now our website was not uh, up to the mark, which we have now made it to and uh, do visit our website, check our website out, subscribe to our website, but get notifications from our website. I'm sure you will like it and you will enjoy it the same way you enjoy our videos. Till I see you next time. Namaskar.